Good evening and welcome to Sunset News this Sunday evening. As always, we bring you news, community stories, economics, weather and sports. I am Diana Master. In the news tonight, a total of 160 building plans were approved by the city of Fintech in September, 11 fewer than the 181 approved in August, according to IJG Securities. In financial terms, the approvals were valued at $129.6 million, million marking a 94.9% month-on-month increase from August's low base of 66.5 million Namibian dollars. Year-to-date approvals have been granted for 1,450 building plans with a total value of 1.04 billion Namibian dollars. This represents a 23.8% reduction in the number of approvals compared to the same period in the previous year and a 26.8% decrease in terms of their overall value. On a cumulative 12-month perspective, there has been a 20.6% decline in the number of approvals and a 30.1% decrease in in value compared to the equivalent 12-month period from a year ago. Mines and Energy Minister Toma Wendo says the government has no hand in the alleged cover-up of dangerous blood lead levels in Rosh Pinar residents in the Karas region. Awendo said this last week in Parliament, answering questions posed by landless people's movements in Isebeb. All mining activities are prone to dangers such as health and safety, not only for the employees but also for the community where mining operations take place. I therefore want to state that the government will not in any way or shape cover up issues related to health and safety in the mining sector, he said. Sebeb highlighted evidence linking exposure to lead in children in Roshpana to the mining company Roshpana's zinc mine. In addition, Sebeb said the mine has allegedly been covering up the potential lead exposure that showed up in about 20% of the children sampled. Getting into our next story, Rundu Rural Constituency Councillor Paulus Mbangu says he will not join any political parties as he is adamant to remain an independent candidate. Mbangu, a former vibrant Swapo member, shot the ruling party at the polls in November 2020 when he won the Rundu Rural Constituency Councillor seat as an independent candidate. He resigned from Swapo Party after he lost confidence in the Swapo Kavangu East regional leadership for supporting Michael Shikongo as their preferred candidate for that year's election. Bango scooped 1,846 of the 2,638 votes casted during that election and his efforts have not gone unnoticed as political parties, including Swapo, have shown interest to rope Mbangu under their wings ahead of the 2024 presidential and National Assembly elections. Academic Job Amupanda has claimed workplace harassment at the hands of his employer, the University of Namibia, and claims all attempts to report the matter to university management are falling on deaf ears. Amupanda made the complaint to UNAM Council Chair Dr. David Oirab amid claims that while the grievance of other university employees are being resolved in a timely fashion, little to nothing is done to address workplace grievances affecting him. Amupanda claimed workplace harassment that has been occurring since 2018. From 2018, I became a frequent of harassment on an annual basis through bogus investigations and answering to allegations by faceless individuals. Despite my misgivings, I decided to subject myself to university policies and procedures, he said in a letter dated 19 October 2023 to Uirab. Amupanda added that the university's top brass refused to respond to his claims of harassment in line with internal practices. In our Story of the Day segment, we take a look at the National Symbols Campaign by the ICT Ministry right after the break. Neopaints has established a 67-year Namibian legacy, creating personalized paint solutions that blend quality and innovation for the Namibian people. We pride ourselves in being a 100% Namibian-owned company, investing in our country and our people by employing and empowering true Namibians. With every brush stroke, Neo Paints commits to our quality guarantee and always delivering a coat of excellence. At Neo Paints, we always stay true to our country. We are as Namibian as you. You're watching Sunset News, getting into our story of the day, addressing the National Youth Service recruits in Henty's Bay on Friday. Information Communication Technology Minister Peya Mushelenga emphasized the importance of molding youth into patriotic and disciplined citizens, as well as the National Symbols Campaign and its importance to the new recruits. This footage is courtesy of the National Youth Council. Let's have a look. Ah. 
I vividly remember when the idea of the national youth service was mooted, aimed at ensuring that our youth have undergone a program that nurtured them into patriotic and disciplined citizens. As a complementing lesson to your program, the National Symbols Campaign aims to foster the spirit of patriotism among our people. Further, the campaign serves as a powerful reminder of our common identity and destiny as Namibians. Our national flag, anthem, coat of arms, and other symbols represent the principles, ethos, and beliefs of our people that stem from the heroic struggle of freedom and independence. It is important to bring this campaign to the trainees of the National Youth Service Program because the future of this country is in their hands. An academic from the Philippines, Charles De Vera, stated in his publication titled Patriotism in Youth Development as expressed in the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and Flag Ceremony a case study that, and I quote, since the youth are the future of the nation, there is a need for them to strengthen the value of their patriotism because they are the main pillar and higher to the future leadership of the country. They are particularly the country's catalyst for economic, social, and cultural development, unquote. The learned academic asserted that the youth should be exposed to national symbols because when they grow participating in events where national symbols are profiled, it will incubate their knowledge, devotion, and allegiance to their country. These words resonate deeply and remind us of the immense potential that lies within our youth. You are the flag bearers of our country and the hope of our nation's future. Through your energy, passion, and dedication that to build a better Namibia, I implore upon you to love your motherland fiercely and unconditionally. MTC Oasis One Skeleton Coast Musical Festival was launched this week and after the break we discuss just what the event is about. Stay with Sunset News. Hello and welcome to today's Sports Rep Show. I am your host Jesse Jackson Kauraika. Replay Namibia, who had won the toss for the first time on this tour. Good day, everyone. Time for international sports news, starting off with tennis news, both on the WTA for women's and. In our community talk segment tonight, Namibia's mobile telecommunications giant MTC, in partnership with the Wildlife Fund Africa on Thursday, launched the MTC Oasis One Skeleton Coast Musical Festival, which is set to take place from the 15th until the 17th of December this year at Long Beach in Swakopmund. The festival is aimed at using the power of music to preserve wildlife, and it will feature top local artists including Top Cherry, Jericho, Sally Boss Madame, Script, Sunny Boy, KP Illust, and many more. Tickets will go on sale on Monday, the 23rd of October. Have a look. Gentlemen, without further ado, if I call up your name, please make your way to the stage. KP Illust!
my personal favorite Namibian Tupac Shakur, Jericho! <laughs> Tolam, tolam, tolamske. Eye protek. Ayo. Script. <laughs> Top cherry, what, what? I swear when I saw Top Cherry performing for the first time a few years ago, and I was like, it's a VS Irikant all the way from Walfish Bay by Narsa Kent. Wow. DJ Alba, wow. Stick around for economic news coming up after the break. Hmm. E-Ticket, your online ticket solution for events and event marketing, bringing you ease of mind and making sure that your event gets out there. events at nmh.com.na Getting straight into our economic news, the fifth monetary policy announcement for the year by the Bank of Namibia is expected to take place on Wednesday. At the previous monetary policy announcement in August, the central bank decided to keep the repo rate unchanged at 7.75%. Namibia is 50 basis points behind South Africa. The South Africa Reserve Bank, at its fifth monetary policy announcement in September, decided to keep the repo rate unchanged at 8.25%. Looking at prizes data released by the Namibia Statistics Agency, indicated that local inflation came in at 5.4% in September. Year-to-date, inflation averaged 6%. In addition, the stock of international reserves increased to 55.6 billion Namibian dollars in August 2023, translating into 5.6 months of import cover remaining above the international benchmark and adequate to support the currency peg between the Namibia dollar and the South African rand. Now let's take a look at the economic indicators. The Namibian dollar trades at 22.99 to the British pound, 20.05 to the euro, 18.94 to the US dollar, and two Namibian dollars and 59 cents buys you one Chinese yuan. Looking at commodities, gold and platinum took an upturn of 0.18% and 0.51% respectively, while copper and Brent crude oil took dips of 0.61% and 0.62% respectively. Welcome to My.NA Cars, your ultimate destination for everything automotive. I am your host, Diana Master. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Discover the latest models, innovative technologies, and expert insights from our passionate hosts. Learn essential maintenance tips and get exclusive behind the scenes access to the automotive industry. Don't miss My.NA Cars on NTV every Thursday at 2100 hours. Tune in and ignite your passion for automobiles.
You're still watching Sunset News. Getting into our international news, Palestinians said they had received renewed warnings from Israel's military to move from North Gaza to the south of the Strip, with the added warning that they could be identified as sympathizers with a terrorist organization if they stayed put. The message was delivered in leaflets marked with the Israel Defense Forces name and logo from Saturday and sent to people via mobile phone audio messages across the Gaza Strip, a narrow territory that is just 45 kilometers long. Israel has pounded Gaza with airstrikes since the Palestinian militant group Hamas launched a deadly attack on Israeli soil on October 7th. Israel has massed troops and armor on the border with Gaza ahead of an expected land incursion. China and the Philippines traded accusations over a collision in disputed waters of the South China Sea as Chinese vessels blocked Philippine boats supplying forces there on Sunday, the latest in a series of maritime confrontations. The two countries have had numerous run-ins in areas of the South China Sea in recent months, especially the disputed Second Thomas Shoal, part of the Spartley Islands. The Philippines has been sending supplies to troops stationed on a rusted World War II era transport ship used as an out post on the show, prompting China's Coast Guard to repeatedly deploy vessels to block the resupply missions. After the break, we'll take a look at the weather predictions. Neopaints has established a 67-year Namibian legacy, creating personalized paint solutions that blend quality and innovation for the Namibian people. We pride ourselves in being a 100% Namibian-owned company investing in our country and our people by employing and empowering true Namibians. With every brush stroke, Neo Paints commits to our quality guarantee and always delivering a coat of excellence. At Neo Paints, we always stay true to our country. We are as Namibian as you. Katima Malilo can expect maximum temperatures of 41 degrees and minimum temperatures of 24 degrees. In Vinsuk, clear skies are expected, maximum temperatures ranging from 33 degrees Celsius, while the minimum temperatures can be expected at 16 degrees Celsius. In Antis Bay, maximum temperatures of 18 degrees Celsius are expected, minimum temperatures of 12 degrees Celsius. Looking at Aranos, 36 degrees Celsius for the maximum, 16 degrees Celsius for the minimum. Neo Paints has established a 67-year Namibian legacy, creating personalized paint solutions that blend quality and innovation for the Namibian people. We pride ourselves in being a 100% Namibian-owned company, investing in our country and our people by employing and empowering true Namibians. With every brush stroke, Neo Paints commits to our quality guarantee and always delivering a coat of excellence. At Neo Paints, we always stay true to our country. We are as Namibian as you. In sports tonight, it was a nail-biting finale between two powerful giants, but Comas Nampol Volleyball Club will be wearing the gold over their necks as both men and women won the finals of the Namibia Volleyball Federation Cup. The games were hosted at the Vintuk Showgrounds. The Vintuk Shell V Power Rally presented by Redline Motor Club took place in and around Vintuk City on Saturday and participants were awarded as follows. In the rally class, Widow Barge and Raymond Fury placed third, while Zachary Martin and Anik Schumann came second to Caroline Swan and Vior Dipena, who were in first position. Off-road challenge class winners on screen are Rian Kritzinger and Ian Standard, the duo in second place. In the middle are Lloyd Bathfield and Johann Stanley who came first and next to them are Rassi Rietz and Eko Asenberg in third position. If you're just joining us, you're watching Sunset News. The highlights from earlier on follow after the break.
Hello and welcome to today's Sports Rep Show. I am your host, Jesse Jackson Kauraita. In replay, Namibia, who had won the toss for the first time on this tour, Good day everyone, time for international sports news, starting off with tennis news both on the WTA for women's and... E-Ticket, your online ticket solution for events and event marketing, bringing you ease of mind and making sure that your event gets out there. Neopaints has established a 67-year Namibian legacy, creating personalized paint solutions that blend quality and innovation for the Namibian people. We pride ourselves in being a 100% Namibian-owned company, investing in our country and our people by employing and empowering true Namibians. With every brush stroke, Neo Paints commits to our quality guarantee and always delivering a coat of excellence. At Neo Paints, we always stay true to our country. We are as Namibian as you. Welcome to My Dot NA Cars, your ultimate destination for everything automotive. I am your host, Diana Master. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Discover the latest models, innovative technologies, and expert insights from our passionate hosts. Learn essential maintenance tips and get exclusive behind-the-scenes access to the automotive industry. Don't miss my dot NA cars on NTV every Thursday at 2100 hours. Tune in and ignite your passion for automobiles. You're watching Sunset News. For those of you that are just joining us, here are the news highlights. A total of 160 building plans were approved by the city of Vintuk in September, all valued at 129.6 million Namibian dollars. Mining Minister Tom Window says the government has no hand in the alleged cover-up of dangerous blood lead levels in Rosh Pinar residents in the Karas region. China and the Philippines traded accusations over a collision in disputed waters of the South China Sea as Chinese vessels blocked Philippine boats, supplying forces there on Sunday. And with that, we have come to the end of the broadcast. Make sure you join Sunset News on Facebook and all the NMH platforms on weekdays, as well as on our website, 102.com. Sunset News screens on DSTV Channel 285 and GoTV Channel 25 every weekday from 7.30 to 8 p.m. I am Diana Master, and this has been Sunset News. Don't end your day without us. Mm -hmm.